Hey guys, it's StyleTuber, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve this Rubik's Cube. So, I'm going to make a part 1 and a part 2. The part 2 will be in the link um, once that part 2 comes out. And I'm just going to teach you how to solve the first two layers today. So, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So, I'm not going to teach you how to solve the, the top layer. I'm only going to teach you how to solve the bottom layer. So, let's just scramble it up and let's start. So, before we start... Um, I'm just going to teach you uh, some four moves that you need to know. Um, these are, you can just memorize it. It's really easy. And it goes like this. So move this up. Move the top layer like this. Move it back down. Move it back. So what you're doing is you're basically moving this up so it's over here. Moving it back to its original position so it's on top of where it was. Move it down move it back so like that 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 just repeat it a few times just keep on doing it over and over again so you actually get these four moves okay keep on just doing it and unfortunately you will get faster so you want to repeat the same thing on the other side it's kind of like the mirror version. So right now we're moving over there. So right now we move this up. We're going to move over there. We're not going to move over there like this. Okay. Move this down. Move this back. Move this up. That. Down. Back. That. Down. Down. Back. Da, 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 da. Okay. You don't need to do as fast as I do. Just You can only just do it like this. This will be good. Okay, so now you can just keep on practicing those moves and then you're ready to begin. So let's get into the solving, well, the teaching, yeah. Okay, so the cube is scrambled and I'm just gonna teach you the first step. So first I'm just gonna show you the first step and the first step is solving a cross. So what a cross is, well, it's basically like this. So there's this cross right here. So we're gonna be making a white cross with all of these aligned. See, this green is matching the green. I'm like that, like that, that, and like that. So that's what you basically need to know um, of a cross. You do not want to have a cross like this. So um, the cross, these two can be aligned, but these two cannot are not aligned. That's not good. You want all of them aligned with the right color. So I'm gonna teach you what an edge is, a corner is, and a center is. So right now, this is an edge, it's not a corner. This one is a corner. The corner has three sides, right here, three colors, and an edge only has two. And what a center is, it's basically the centerpiece. Centers never swap places with other centers, because um, let's say I'm gonna move that. I'm not putting the, the red over here. It's not swapping places. So I can just, let me sit, show you, I'm just gonna take a piece out. So, um, I, since this cube was hard to take out a piece, I'm going to use this piece to take out a piece. So, um, like that. So, I'm just going to do that. So, if you look on the center, right, you see there's, um, this metal piece connected with this um, part right here. So, you can't really just like put this over here and swap this like that you can't do that because it's connecting but with these edge pieces there's nothing connecting to the core over here so that's why you can these can swap with each other but these centers cannot so i'm gonna put this piece back together let's put back together i'm gonna switch with this cube over here and teach you how to make a cross so right now i know that you're trying to look on youtube and trying to look at a video on how to solve it and your cube is already scrambled uh, most likely your cube is scrambled and your cube is not solved that's why you're trying to learn so this video is for beginners if you're like advanced um this doesn't really teach you anything because this is a beginner's method um and if you're a beginner do not learn advanced method because it will be kind of difficult to um, learn so this method is called the the beginner's method and I'm gonna teach you it to do today. Okay, so first you wanna start out with a cross. So um, first let's look around the cube and see. Oh, okay, so we're making a white cross right here. So we already have one edge piece lined up 
with the white piece. So the white and white matches. So let's look at the, um, since there's two colors, we have no one, we know one color is white and the other color is red. So you want to move the red to the red center piece. So you want to move it like that. So the red matches with the red and the white matches with the white. Okay, so let's look on the bottom to see if there's any more pieces. Over here, see there's a white, there's a white piece over here, the white edge. Do not choose a white corner, a white edge. All right, there's only two colors. Look on the white edge, put it on the bottom. So you see white and it's orange. So you wanna match with the orange center piece. And then you wanna turn the front layer two times like that. So this is matched with the right color and this is matched with the right color. So let's see if there are any more pieces on the bottom that are what that is a white edge. So you see there's a white piece right here. So you want to move it. So you see there's a green. So you want to move it to the green. Right? But then you notice the green is not matching the green. The white is matching the green. So let's say if you move it up, this piece is flipped. So instead, you do not want to just keep it up there because it's not a cross. Um, so you actually want to flip this piece. And how you flip that piece is basically, we basically just move it to the top, move it either to the left or the right. I'm just gonna move it over here like clockwise, okay? And then you wanna just move it down with the right, either the left or the right. Do not move it with the front face. So you wanna, um, right now this piece is on the right side, so I do not wanna use the left side to turn it down. I wanna use the white side so now this piece is on the bottom, right? But this piece is messed up, so don't really worry about it. But if you wanna just fix it, do not fix it right away because you're just doing the same move and it's not gonna affect anything. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna move it down, move it away so you can see it's in the front. Do you, you do not wanna move it to the back. Well, you can move it to the back, but like you have to rotate all the, like that. So it's a lot faster if you just um, move it to the front where you can see it and it's inserting right in this spot so you can just move it back up so let me just do, re do that again so this is a flipped edge right moving just down moving this so it's facing me i'm moving this piece back up to fix it okay so you want to move it back up where its original position is you don't not want to move it down to the layer because it's originally over here so you want to move it over here so now you see the edges flip see the green is matching the green so you want the white to match with the white so you just turn the front face two times so it matches so you have this one over here that matches this one over here that matches and this one over here that matches so um let's just move on to the next piece okay okay so let's move on to the next piece right here so we're just gonna look on the bottom layer it's not on the bottom layer, so it must be over here in its spot that's flipped or it's solved or it's either in the middle layer. So right now it's in the middle layer, so um, we can move it to the bottom. And we know it's not flipped because this blue matches with the blue. So right now this will be flipped. If it's like this, it will be flipped like this because the blue is not matching the blue, it's a blue and white. So um, right now, it is okay let me just fix that what did i do okay so let's move that back okay um so the orange i mean the blue matches with the blue so now it's correct so we can just move the front face two times okay okay i'm just going to show you another case um where there's a flipped edge on the top so what you can do is you move it over here, do the same thing. So right now it's on the left side. So you want to move the left side down, move it the bottom layer towards. So it's facing me like that. And then you want to move the front face two times to fix a cross. So now we have a cross right here. And now we're going to move on to the first leg. So right now we're like this and you want to flip the cube over. And remember those four moves that I taught earlier? So basically what you want to do is you want to apply it to yourself. So let's see. Oh, so you want to insert these corners to solve a layer, right? And when you solve a layer, you do not want to do this because since the white is still matching, but the orange and the blue is not matching with this, these um, cross pieces, these edges, right? Because the, the green doesn't match with the blue. 
the only the blue matches with the um blue right and blue doesn't match with orange so we can use those four moves put it on top where it needs to go so you know this is white orange and blue so you see this corner is white orange and blue so you know it has to go right over here right so you want to repeat those four moves that i just showed you um previously in the video so like this like that and those are the four moves well just keep on repeating it till this piece goes in the right position where it needs to go okay so let's go on to the next one okay so now we're just gonna move on to the next piece so move over and then you see there's a white there's a red and there's a blue right so you want to see the white red blue piece so it's right over here right so you want to move that to the position where on top where it needs to go so on top it's right here so this is our bottom this is our top um and then you want to repeat those four moves that we just did one two three four Okay, we're lucky. It only took us one time to do that move, but sometimes you need to repeat it over and over again till this piece goes in the right position. So, um, if it's like this, this is not good because these colors are not matching, even though this is the right corner piece. It has to be flipped till the white matches with the white, the blue matches with the blue, and then the red matches with the red. So, like that, it's in the correct position because the white matches with the white, the blue matches with the blue. And the red matches the red. So that's a complete, um, that's how you solve these edges. And you can just continue with the rest. So there are some special cases where this piece is on the bottom. So let's just um, look at this piece. So if you look at the white, green, and red, look on the white, green, red. It's not over here. It's over here. It's in another slot, right? And how you take it out is basically you want to look at one, like just take a random piece. Well, so right now, we can just insert this piece into the right spot, and that will move this out. Because if you move it in, it's not just going to stay there, and this piece is not going to go in. It's not going to be blocked by this piece. If you just insert it like normal. So let's say this is just a, like a normal corner, right? If we just put this corner in, this corner will get out. So see, this is a, um, orange and blue. If we put in this piece, those four moves, right? This piece will be kicked out of its spot and this piece will place replace it. So that's what we want to do, right? So you want to replace this piece, the correct piece that needs to go in. Repeat those four moves. And then you can insert it like that, okay? So now this piece will be over here and we can just repeat those four moves like that. And it will be correct, okay? So there are some special cases where it's like this. There's no other piece to replace it that's in the correct spot, um, except for this one, In it's in the spot. So what you want to do is you want to take like a random piece on the top layer, right, this one, and do the four moves till, those, till that thing goes in. You just only want to repeat it once. So how you solve that is, so we just took um, a piece and replaced it, right? And then you want to replace it back in just like normal those four moves and then that's how a layer will be solved so now i'm just going to teach you how to solve this second layer so now we're going to solve the second layer so how you solve the second layer is by placing one of these edge pieces into the correct spot so i'm going to show you how the second layer looks like when it's done so it's gonna let's say so this is how the second layer will look like when it's done. So, I'm, so I took some pieces out and so that now you saw how the second layer looks like, right? So I'm going to teach you how to put in a piece in the correct spot. So right now you want to look at the edge piece, you know, it wants to go over here, right? So you want to put it kind of next to the spot where it needs to go, right? And you want the blue to match the blue. You want the color to match with each other. This is not good, even though it must go over here. It's not good because the blue doesn't match the red right because if you insert it right this piece will be flipped and you do not want a flipped piece um so right now this part of the red matches with the red and that's good because ma red matches with the red you do not want this because the red doesn't match with the blue right so let's start so um this part so it's next to it so you want to move it away from where it's to go this is an algorithm 
um, for the second layer. So you want to move it away from where it needs to go. So right now it needs to go over here. So you want to move it away from where it needs to go, right? You want to repeat those four moves I told you, like this. Repeat those four moves, right? Rotate, and then just insert it with those four moves again. So that's how you put a pair in. So let's look at another one over here, right? You match this with this, right? Okay? You want to move it away from where it needs to go, like that. Do those four moves. Rotate. And then do those four moves from your with your right hand. So I'm a lefty, um, just to tell you. Maybe if you don't know, I'm a lefty, okay? So let's look at another piece. Well, I'm just going to make sure we have a different algorithm. So let's look over here. So it needs to go over here, right? So you want to move it away from where it needs to go. Repeat those four moves I taught earlier, right? Rotate the cube and do it with a different hand, this hand. Okay, so we have the second layer done, but I'm gonna teach you a special case where this part is flipped. You have no other piece to replace it. So what you wanna do is you wanna replace it with one of these top layers. One of these random pieces over here, these yellow pieces, right? Do that move, so you wanna move it away. So you need wants to go over here so you can replace that piece and take it out. So move it away, do those four moves, right? And do those four moves, rotate, do those four moves. So now you see you inserted this piece and this piece it's kicked out where it needs to go. So now you can just do it like normal, match with this color, it needs to go over here. So move it away from where it needs to go, four moves, rotate, four moves okay so now you see um the whole second layer is solved okay so i'm going to teach you a little skill that may help you like this so let's say this piece it's in the wrong place right you want to replace it with it with its place where it needs to go do not place with the yellow piece because if you replace with yellow piece you need to um put this piece back in or you can just put this piece back in and this piece will be kicked out while this one is in the correct position. So you can just um, take that, move it away, um, do those four moves, right? And then do those four moves again so it's in the correct position. And now you see this part is kicked out um, and then you see those four moves like that and that will be in the correct place, okay? Okay, so now we're done solving the second layer, and this is just part one. I'm just going to be teaching you part two um, on this top layer. So this is only part one. The link will be in the description for part two. Um, once that video comes out, I'm going to put it in the link. And thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye!